Hey guys, today I'm gonna to review for you some sticks that I found out about recently. These are sticks from a company called uh, Los Cabas, I believe is what uh, the company's called. They are a company based out of Canada. I just recently, um, the last few months, I started seeing them online a bit, so I figured I would give them a try. So I went out and I bought uh, six pairs of sticks from these guys. Uh, so I would ha have, you know, maybe a decent sized sample set. I'm gonna bring the sticks upstairs and roll them around on a table a bit. I'm gonna play them on my right a little bit uh, so you can hear what they sound like. Um, by the way, just for reference, I'm using a Zildjian A-Series 20-inch rock ride. Before I do that, I did want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the specs of these sticks. These are, I bought um, six pairs of the five A's, the hickory, um, on their website, they refer to them as white hickory. Um, but if you're using uh, Vader's or Vic Verth's, I believe this is just basically the same cut of wood. The length is uh, 16 inches, according to the website. I compared them, just kind of stood them up next to a pair of Vader's that I had, and they actually seem to be ever so slightly longer, but probably still, you know, relatively close to 16 inches. The thickness is actually a little bit thicker than what you would normally see for a, uh, a 5A. Um, I believe they're about 10 one thousandths of an inch thicker than your Vic Firth sticks, um, or five thousandths of an inch thicker than your Vader Los Angeles style sticks. So they are a little bit thicker. I mention all that because they do feel a little heavier. The center of balance actually seems to be a little bit further forward on the stick when I'm playing on with, with them. So when, I, when I'm holding them, they, it do, I do feel like I have to kind of grip up more uh, when I use them. I do have this one pair here before we go upstairs that I had started playing with uh, before I started shooting this video. I used these for, this had about 12 hours of pretty heavy hitting uh, practice time behind them. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, the stick that is far more beat up and chipped, um, that is the stick I used in my right hand the entire time. I wanted just for the sake of consistency for this video to, um, to, to keep it in the same hand. As you can see, the stick that is far less beaten up is actually still in pretty good shape after the 12 hours. So had I been switching hands, the sticks, uh, this right stick would have lasted a lot longer. But at this time, the right stick is, is pretty well dead. It actually started, the tip started chipping around the seven hour mark. Um, but as you can see from the video, it's pretty, uh, one whole side of it is completely off at this point. So let's go upstairs now, roll the sticks around on a table and see how straight they're cut. Okay, so we're gonna do some roll tests here. Gonna take the sticks, roll them on the table, try to see how even or uneven they're cut. So we will call this pair number one. Let's take a quick look at these. They look pretty straight. Let's give it a quick look here. Right, so it looks like this might have a little bit of unevenness. Maybe right around here is a bend. Let's check out this guy. This one seems a little bit straighter, but might be a bend somewhere in him as well. I can see the motion over here is going up and down when I roll it. This one's definitely worse though. So they're not definitely not perfectly straight this pair. Let's go on to the next pair and see how that is. Okay, so I can see, just moving these around a little bit, it looks like the space between is changing, especially on this one. I 
That's a little... This one's a little uneven. Not terrible. This one is really uneven. There's a big bow, like, um, over the, the length of the stick here. So when it's, when it's like this, this part of the stick is really sticking up. So let's check out the third pair. This one's not too bad. This one is a little bit worse than this one, I'd say. Probably along the same line of the first pair. Better than the second pair. Um, but about the same quality uh, straightness as the first pair. All right, number four. Oh yeah, this one is, this one's got a really big bow. This is kind of like the second pair here. So this is a really big, when I put it like this, this part right here sticks up. Oh, it's near the, the back end again, is where the, the bend is. So this one is a bit better. Now again, I can see a little bit of, of movement on this part of the stick. Definitely better than this stick here. So this is probably, I'd say, this is pair number four, I think. Uh, so this is about the same as pair two. So number five. This one's pretty good here. This one's got a big, looks like this one's got a pretty big bow to it as well. Yeah, I'd say right about here is where it sticks out the most. Yeah. So this is kind of like, Pair two, four, and five all have one stick in it that had a, I'd say a pretty good uh, size bow. Um, and the other sticks seem to be uh, not too bad. Now, of course, the sixth pair is the pair that I've actually played on, so I don't know how well a roll test will be on these. This one's not... Too bad. And of course, I don't know how th this one's really beat up, so. But it seems, it seems better. So I'd say, um, I think it was pairs one, three, and we'll call this six, are about the same amount. A little bit of, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's made out of wood, so it's not going to be perfect, right? A little bit of uh, of unevenness, but not too bad. The other three pairs had one stick that was not bad, and then one stick that actually had a, a pretty good uh, size uh, bow to it. So I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this, but uh, this is one of the six from pair five. So this is the stick that had the larger size bow on it. So just trying to. Look down the barrel a little bit. You can see it's bent 
move along this way a little bit. So what's my general thoughts on these sticks? Well, I have been playing a little bit more metal recently, so having a heavier stick is kind of um, interesting in that regard. It seems to pair a bit better um, with, with that style of music. I do wish that the sticks were cut a little bit straighter. Um, as you saw, there was at least uh, three individual sticks that were seemed to really have a decent bow to them. I know, you know, they're made out of wood. They're never going to be perfect. Um, but I feel like the consistency uh, is a little bit better from what I've uh, played on with uh, Vic Firth and Vader. Okay, so let me jump into playing a little something for you on the ride with these new sticks. So, what kind of sticks do you like to play with? Is it something well known like Vic Firth or Vader? Is it something obscure? Uh, do you like a heavier stick? Something smaller like a 7A? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.